beat N6QW and I was faced with the problem of how to achieve a 500 to 600 watt uh, linear amplifier for 80 through 10 meters. The answer was not easy. Uh, there were a lot of problems. Uh, the commercial lamps of bargain type uh, seem to have some quality problems and uh, the high-end solid-state units uh, cost about uh, $2,500 and it's four to five dollars a watt. That was kind of expensive. One option was scratch build something with 572 B's. Uh, however, I did build a 3 CPX 1500 A7 and ended up with a big rack of equipment. So that led me to a solution where I would uh, purchase uh, an existing older amplifier and provide a series of upgrades. And that led me to the SB200. I found a unit on eBay for low cost and uh, added the uh, Harbach modifications. And uh, this video covers what I did to achieve that end. Um, essentially, I added a new power transformer, new f filter bank, uh, the soft start, uh, the soft key, uh, new circuit breakers, new TR relay, and put a new fan in there. Here you see some pictures of the existing wiring, and uh, the job was uh, not done pretty well, so I uh, felt pretty confident that uh, there had been care in building the amplifier. I also replaced the fan motor. Here's the old fan motor. Uh, here's the circuit board from the existing uh, power supply. And these were all chained up. So uh, it, it was uh, a significant effort. It took me about four days. And here are the new installations that took place. Uh, building the new su power supply deck and the circuit breakers, which you see in this uh, shot. There's the new uh, Peter Dahl power transformer. Uh, and there was some special care to do that. Here's a close-up of the uh, circuit breakers. And <coughs> I re actually removed the front panel, and here's uh, the whole power supply uh, compartment uh, rewired. You can see that up close. Um, it was not an easy task with the power transformer. You have to be careful on the lead length. Uh, here's the bottom of the uh, power supply board, all good quality boards from Harback. Here's a close-up of the 240-volt uh, uh, jumper in place. And here you can see some of the replaced wiring. Uh, it's a little smaller diameter, easy to work. This was the TR relay, and uh, I was concerned about uh, maybe arcing and sparking. This was the dropping relay, a uh, dropping resistor for the relay. And uh, these were all replaced with a, uh, a new modern relay. And I understand from Harback it's a better relay than it existed initially. There's the new dropping resistor because of different coil resistance. And uh, here's the wiring of the uh, new TR relay as it went into the circuit. Uh, everything is uh, pretty much uh, by the book. Uh, if you follow the Harbach instructions, you'll be successful. Uh, there were some, uh, with the fan motor, there was a suggestion of interfacing with the older wiring, but uh, I felt the wiring was too light, so I just took the existing leads and pulled out of the wire bundle the original wiring and just uh, fished uh, this new wiring through, and here you can see uh, the two locations where it's being installed. There's the fan blade. You have to be careful and bend some things out of the way so you don't short the fan blade to the high voltage lead, but uh, that was not a big problem. <coughs> and here you can see the back side of the Peter Dahl power transformer. And uh, I had to replace the the uh, high voltage lead that went to the f uh, from the power supply to the filter choke. It was not long enough so that when you install the soft start mo module, you can ride around it and you can see that uh, here. So I bought some wiring from RF Parts and made that installation. And ultimately, what's going to go in place here is a glitch resistor, but I don't have that as yet. Here's the soft key and the soft start module as they're installed. I made one little modification because my amplifier had an amplifier bypass switch. So I'm able to, instead of turning the amp on and off to take it out of the line, I just simply uh, put, place the uh, switch either in bypass or into the amplifier. So here's some close-up views of how I rerouted the uh, 20 kV wiring. By the way, the original Heathkit wiring was only good for 600 volts, so it's kind of marginal. Um, here's the, the wires I had to fish in for the new uh, filament circuit. So uh, kind of interesting to uh, install things out of sequence uh, once the job's done. Here's the new Taylor tubes uh, installed, and I had to. Uh, uh, here's the back side of uh, what the uh, power compartment looks like, power supply compartment. And here's a shot of the tank circuit, and as I said, I saw this on eBay, and it looked like it was in pretty good shape. So uh, total lapse time was about four days to do do all this work, and uh, uh, I was rewarded uh, by the fact that when I did turn the amplifier on, I was able to uh, make it work. 
Here's a picture of the front panel. Someone went through a lot of work to add this amplifier bypass switch and did a really nice job. So that kind of caught my eye. That is non-standard, so uh, not just a toggle switch, but someone worked really hard at that. Uh, there's very little tarnish on the tank circuit components, so I felt pretty good. Here's a shot of uh, close-up completed wiring. That 33 ohm resistor is part of the antenna relay circuit. Here's the soft key, and uh, that has worked uh, very, very well. It takes about uh, 7 tenths of a volt. Uh, normally, uh, on the original, you had to switch 120 volts uh, in order to turn the amplifier on. Of course, that would uh, chew up some of the more modern solid-state uh, amplifier switching circuits. Uh, very, very, uh, <coughs> very easy to uh, to do, relatively speaking, when you consider the amount of work that went into this. But uh, indeed, uh, I first uh, powered it up. Uh, I got over uh, 600 watts, and uh, so I'm going to. That was on 20 meters, and I'm going to test all the bands and uh, make sure the functionality is uh, is the same. I'll keep recording uh, the the dial settings and the power levels for the various bands, but I'm really pleased. 20 meters was the one I was principally interested in, and uh, it uh, it went together very well, and uh, I'm very pleased with the results. So. Uh, I hand off uh, to Harback Electronics uh, that really uh, facilitated this project. I got about $1,000 invested in it and uh, it took me about four days to complete. So I'm very, very